Number 1 The haunted office building in the heart of Shenzhen. Vengeful decades old ghosts roam the hallways of Zangyan building, located near the heart of Shenzhen, or so the rumors say. They are blamed for the failures of Zangyan's businesses, said to have a preternaturally short lifespan. And at least online, another worldly influence is cited as the cause for the complex's rock bottom rent. The ghosts haunting Zangyan are said to date back to the bloody days of China's Cultural Revolution, in the 60s and 70s, when the site of the building was allegedly used as an execution ground. After Shenzhen's founding and rapid development, some say developers decided to capitalize on the cursed plot of land, hiring a specialist for advice on putting its ghosts to rest. That's how the office building ended up with two pointy towers that resemble candles. Plastered over with auspicious rose-tinted windows. Zangyan is, undoubtedly, an offensively pink monstrosity. But does it deserve its ghastly reputation? Number 2 The legend behind Shanghai's dragon pillar on Jianan Geojia. Ever since Shanghai's Jianan Elevated Road, or Jianan Geojia, was opened to the public in the mid-1990s, a certain backquote legend focusing on just one specific part of the expressway, the backquote dragon pillar has been circulating among locals. Located at the cross-section with Nanbui Geogia near People's Square, the backquote dragon pillar, unlike all the other regular concrete pillars along the expressway, isn't just larger and thicker, it's also decorated with a metallic finishing, as well as nine large bronze dragons and several smaller ones on its surface. The most widely known version of the story behind the backquote dragon pillar states that back when construction workers were building this section of the expressway in 1995 and had to install the pilings needed for the foundation, they had trouble drilling to the required depth and construction came to a grinding halt. As the story goes, to avoid further delays, government officials and the construction company invited several feng shui masters to take a look at the site, but they all refused to prescribe a solution. In the end, a monk from J Buddha Temple, some say Langhua Temple, agreed to perform a religious ceremony. Before he left, the monk also asked for the pillar to be covered with nine dragons, because this very spot happens to be the resting place of the city's guardian dragon. Number 3 The Monstrous Mongolian Death Worm Rumored to exist in the rocky and unforgiving Gobi Desert, the Mongolian death worm is unquestionably one of China's stranger cryptids. This nightmarish creature is allegedly red in color, somewhere between 2 and 5 feet long and as thick as a man's arm. It should be noted that 2 to 5 feet is the most commonly stated length, though some sources suggest the animal can grow to much greater sizes. Sometimes referred to as the backquote intestine worm, because of its ridged, intestine-like appearance, this cryptid is greatly feared by locals due to its highly toxic, or possibly acid-like, venom. According to local beliefs, the death worm has the ability to spray its venom from a reasonable distance and the substance is powerful enough to kill a camel or horse. Some tales assert the worm can also use electricity on hapless passers b. There have been numerous expeditions mounted to find the worm, including several that were filmed for television, including the popular mystery show Destination Truth in 2006-2007, but all returned empty-handed. Number 4 The Unexplained Disappearance of 3000 Chinese Troops Near Nanjing Unexplained disappearances have always had a chilling effect on people. The eeriest type, though, are those that occur en masse, when a group of people seem to evaporate into thin air. So goes the urban legend of the Nanjing soldiers. In 1939, during the horrors of Japanese aggression against the Republic of China in the Second Sino-Japanese War, 1937-45, almost 3,000 soldiers stationed in the rolling hills around Nanjing are said to have disappeared without leaving a single clue about their fate. The incident, according to folklore, began in December of 1939 or 1937, depending on who you talk to, when Colonel Li Fuxin stationed 2,988 troops amongst Nanjing's hills, or 3.2 kilometer area, with a view to defend a bridge on the Yangtze River against an impending Japanese attack. When Colonel Li awoke the following morning, he was told by his assistant that the soldiers at the defensive line were not responding to calls or signals. An investigation team was formed, but found the site completely abandoned upon arrival. There was no sign of struggle, heavy weapons were still in place and ready to be fired, but nobody was there. Troops stationed at the bridge claimed no one had slipped by in the night. 
they were unsure of the missing soldier's fate. Number 5 The ghastly tale of Guang's house back quotes suicide shopping plaza. Many Cantonese see it as no coincidence that the cursive-like character backquote Guang outside of Liwen Plaza in Guang's house bears an uncanny resemblance to the word for corpse. Since 2004, about a dozen suicides have occurred on the premises, the most recent occurring this past April, with some witnesses claiming that a supernatural force seemingly pushed victims over the railings. The mall's deadly curse, according to local residents, began many years ago when it was first constructed. If you've ever watched Poltergeist, you're known ever to build on ancient burial grounds, but you wouldn't expect a bunch of real estate developers to know that, would you? Home to a King Dynasty sacrificial chamber, inspectors failed to notice eight empty coffins when erecting Liwen Plaza, now a large jewelry market near Shanxi Ajiu Pedestrian Street, unearthed during construction. Some say the coffins were the cradle of strange noises and mysterious deaths that kept storefronts ruinously empty. To counteract the malevolence, architects made the building resemble an octagon, like the Bagua. Eventually, a Taoist priest informed landlords that the empty coffins had originally been buried to thwart evil influences. The catch was that they were not to be disturbed for a thousand years. Whoops, 